The Mercedes-Benz A-Class symbolizes the thrust into a new market segment like hardly any other range. As figurehead of the Mercedes-Benz product offensive, the compact all-around sedan combines small outer dimensions with maximum space efficiency. When the little Mercedes celebrated its premiere in autumn 1997, expectations were accordingly high. However, immediately after the presentation, something unexpected happened. On October 21st, 1997, the A-Class underwent the Elk Test in Sweden. The little one could not manage the extreme task fully loaded at a high speed and rolled over. The failed trial journey caused a week-long worldwide media steer and at first scratched at the image of the car manufacturers in Stuttgart. The A-Class's success could not be stopped by the tumble and it arose from the setback stronger. That is largely due to the Electronic Stability Program, ESP, and the Brake Assist System, BAS, both standard equipment in the A-Class. Body and safety attributes are also tailor-made for the special requirements of the new vehicle range. In particular, the specially engineered five-gear transmission only weighs 32 kilograms. Dimensions and position of the engines make altering any fundamentals impossible. The A-Class started out with two entirely new four-cylinder engines, two turbo diesel and two auto motors with 82 and 102 horsepower were first available. The back seats and the removable front passenger seat make the little Mercedes a quick change artist. An incredible 72 different seat positions guarantees flexibility in all circumstances. Even the little Mercedes load volume is advantageous. Depending on the back seat position, parameters stretch from 390 to 1,340 liters, unexceedable by many larger models. The A-Class, internally W168, sets a good example in safety concerns. Numerous crash tests prove that also a compact vehicle with short deformation paths can reach a high safety level. The sandwich concept of the body makes that possible. The passenger compartment occupies the upper area while the power aggregates are positioned tilted in front of and under the intermediate floor. In the case of a head-on collision, the powering unit is forced under the passenger compartment and is not an injury risk for the passengers. In 1999, a 125 horsepower 1.9 liter engine expanded the selection and powered the A190 to a top speed of almost 200 kilometers per hour, which can be stopped by four disc brakes. This top model was conceived with a literally ignited idea. On November 14, 1998, the newly victorious Formula One world champion Mika Hakkinen and team member David Coulthard received a special kind of official car, the A190 Twin. Its two 1.9 liter engines together generated 250 horsepower and catapulted the undersized Sprinter from 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds. In February 2001, the A-Class was completely re-engineered. A new front enhanced its appearance. In the interior, high-quality materials were used. The best possible side protection was offered for the first time by window bags. At the same time, a 170 millimeter longer version was launched with a more taut stability. 
a top version was presented in 2002, the A210 Evolution. It generates 140 horsepower and boasts an especially sporty interior. All in all, 1.1 million units of the A-Class were sold. Yeah. Boris, why don't you finally buy a new car? I won't tell you. This success story has been continued since September 2004 by its successor. Kulta, liukasta vai? <laughs>